Northwood Hills was built and equipped as an Odeon. But for some reason it was sold to Shipman and King and opened by them in December 1936. Designed by Andrew Mather, the Rex seated 1,000. Shipman and King operated it until it closed and was demolished in September 1973. At Chesham, Shipman and King ran the palace, which they renamed the Astoria and continued to operate this cinema in the town after they opened their embassy. This pleasant property opened in January 1937 and was designed by David E. Nye. In common with most Shipman and King properties, it had a cafe. The auditorium seated 1,300 and provision was made for an organ, but this was never installed. At Tenterton, the Cinema Palace opened in 1912. This held 350 and continued in business until the embassy opened. The Cinema Palace was then converted into a series of lock-up shops. The Tenterton Embassy is another example of the tasteful cinemas built by Shipman and King, whose heartlands were the country towns of South East England. Hastings architect Henry W. Cousins designed the cinema and a homely, rather than elegant, first floor cafe completed the amenities. This small, 700-seater super cinema closed in 1969 and was converted into a supermarket. The embassy name on the frontage has been retained. When the Embassy Isha in Surrey opened in August 1937, it was the 31st cinema in the Shipman and King circuit. Adjoining the balcony foyer was the cafe. One of the features of the auditorium, which had seating for 1,500, is the double rake of the floor. From the back, the floor slopes gently down to a point halfway along the auditorium and then rises to a slightly steeper angle towards the proscenium end. By the use of this method, the architect, David Nye, was able to save considerable time and expense in excavations because the land behind the cinema rises. Although not built or opened by Shipman and King, the studio Bletchley was taken over in September 1937. Designed by E.B. Parkinson for the Fletcher Barnett Syndicate, the studio seated 890. Another cinema designed by E.B. Parkinson for the same syndicate that Shipman and King took over at that time was the studio Elstree. A virtually identical Fletcher Barnett Parkinson cinema the studio in Hassox, Sussex, seating 850, somehow escaped ever becoming an S&K property. And yet Hassox was exactly the kind of town where Shipman and King liked to be represented. The Palace Waltham Cross was a 1931 acquisition by Shipman and King. They renovated and enlarged the cinema and reopened it as a regent. In the mid-30s, S and K were anxious to further enlarge the Regent, but were thwarted in attempts to buy enough land, so they built the Embassy nearly opposite. The Embassy opened in November 1937 and was designed by local architects Howis and Belcham. There was a cafe over the entrance. The Embassy seated 1,700 and its Christie organ was the one that S and K had installed in the court Berkhamsted in 1934. The Embassy Dorking opened as a Gaumont in February 1938 and 15 weeks later, on the 17th of June 1938, had its name changed to Embassy and was from then on controlled by Shipman and King. The architect was Harry Weston, who built other cinemas that would be operated by Gaumont British at Chadwell Heath, Rochester, Carsholton and Chichester. Dorking was the only theatre of his to be controlled by Shipman and King. It seated 1,300.